overall, that was a very good workout. Our calf is recovering nicely. A couple days after tearing it, I'm surprised. It's taking two days off of it, not touching it. Straining it, tearing it, whatever happened. We popped the shit out of it running hill sprints. I'm actually really surprised how fast my calf is healing. But I'm just making sure I'm not, like I'm not going to do any more walking today. I've done, been pacing in between sets, so done a decent amount of walking on it. Still got to go sauna, shower, walk back to the car, walk to my apartment, go to work and all that. And then they will start. I don't know, I might, I might walk a little bit with my shirt off when I get home to soak up some sun if the sun's still out. But other than that, yeah, good workout. Alright, so we did four sets on the lateral pull downs. I think we may finish off there, but I'm gonna. There's actually a seated row machine, or I don't have to use my calf, and even the T bar. I'm gonna try a set on the T bar row, see if I can do it with just one leg, and then uh, I'm gonna do one or two sets there, and then go to the seated row, and then finish it off some laps, and then obviously just seated curls, all we're gonna do.
figure out a way to get my heavy rows in. There we go. Never used this before. Found a way to get in my heavy rows. Man, just uh, really taking those two days to do nothing has really made a big deal with my calf. Wrapped up, I'm barely even feeling it. I was, what, tore it like two days ago? Just those two full days of rest, huge difference. So, <clears throat> thankfully, it's a minor grade two or whatever, so it'll be good in a few weeks. But hell yeah. I'm gonna do a few more sets of these rows and move on the biceps. Actually, I lied. We're gonna do our rear delts. It just opened up. So we're gonna hit like six sets on the rear delts real quick and then we'll go back to our rows. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna superset. We're gonna do four to six sets of these rows, superset it with these rear delts. Yeah, let's do that. We're gonna do at least three more of those and then probably a couple solo sets of this. Do some biceps. One more of those and then I think what we'll do is a drop set. So let's burn out with these and then hit the biceps.
Oh.
single drop set. <laughs> And I'm glad until I'm tired of this You ain't bad until you What y'all know about this old game I'm shit, bro? Alright, so I changed my mind I didn't mess with the sauna It's so sunny and beautiful I decided to come back to the apartment And I'm gonna sit out here in the sun And just pace around for a little bit And, uh, yeah Pump's pretty much gone, but that was a hell of a back and bicep workout. And yeah, so <clears throat> just gonna sit here and walk around and get some sun. But really, really happy with how the calf is coming along. So, W Google for recommending to just do nothing for two days and keep it iced and. And then, of course, I decided to, you know, make sure I was having some protein or something every few hours. Just no fasting so that way that there's amino acids and nutrients constantly flowing in my system so my body could use that to start building that scar tissue. But we'll be back to fasting tomorrow. And, uh, yeah, and then just slowly building upon each day. So we're not going to go on an actual walk today because we've done enough walking pacing around on our sets and we're about to pace some more and but i think tomorrow we'll uh we'll go on a light even just five or ten minute walk and then we'll keep building upon it oh this is amazing y'all just early so this flies and hornets and shit aren't horrible yet the sun just feels so good just feel it cooking which <clears throat> my philosophy has always been simple. I just get a nice burn early on, which I'm not trying to burn right here, but usually I get a good burn and then I tan quite a bit and then I'm pretty resistant from the sun for the rest of the summer. That's kind of how I've always done it. <clears throat> but I feel amazing other than the occasional fly landing on me. I hate feeling shit crawling on me, but how about them shoulders, bro?